Elaine in Neuchâtel, Switzerland. Neuchâtel, isn't that some kind of chocolate or something? Uh, that rings a bell here to <laughs> my ever-present desire for food. Uh, he writes to me and he says, can we use a Lundahl transformer for XLR to RCA conversion in a highly resolving system? I see on the internet that Jeff Rowland likes to use the LL1588. We could, for example, mount them in a do-it-yourself box with good connectors. If yes, um, it seems like they are not too easy to find, but would they work in the first place? And yeah, actually, we talk a lot about conversion from XLR to RCA, and um, I, I wanted to make the point that I've tried several times that it's not a great idea to do it with a passive adapter of the kind that you normally see for 10 bucks or something because really all they're doing is taking the XLR which has two conductors each out of phase with the other out of polarity one's going up while the other's going down they're in sync but they they are doing the opposite and a ground wire so you got three wires and so it's real easy and simple to just eliminate one of those wires put that down there and just have one signal wire, the, the positive going signal wire, and ground. That gives you single-ended. Going the other way is a little bit more difficult that you need some electronics. But all that said, one of the alternatives is what Elaine is bringing up, and that is using a transformer. Now, if you use a transformer, make sure it is super high quality. I, I don't know, I know Jeff uses, I thought he used Jensen's, but Isolation transformers, impedance matching transformers are wonderful to go, if you don't mind the sound of a transformer, and, and a lot of people like it. They're, they're wonderful devices because they have common mode rejection, which is what we look for in a balanced circuit. You can take a single ended, you ground one end of the transformer on the primary and you put a single ended signal into it and what comes out on the secondary on the output is a fully balanced signal and if you use a great transformer like a Lundahl or a Jensen those can go down to two or three Hertz which is very very low and very good so yeah you can absolutely do it it's just it's expensive they're I don't know good transformers 150 bucks and you need two so Yes, you can do it. <laughs> I've gotten, when we stand here, when I stand here and talk about stuff, I've gotten people writing, what is all that, <laughs> the door behind you? See this here? Please keep close. Please, please. <laughs> and if you look on, I don't know if you can see this, on the other side here, please, 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 please keep door closed. Pretty please. <laughs> what do you think? We have trouble keeping the door closed? So this... This is the engineering room, our offices, and out here is the warehouse and speaker testing and things. And it gets pretty noisy out there. People in here trying to work or the differences in temperature and all of that drives people nuts. So we put all these signs up and I'm going to guess 50% of the time that door is left open still. You know, the funny thing about signs you put it all up, and for a week, everybody, oh, my God, and then you close it. And then after a week or so, you don't see the signs anymore. It's just stuff, right? You don't even notice it. <laughs> We're all uh, so alike. All right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the question, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. <laughs>